Hi, welcome to Sassy YouTube channel. I'm gonna paint a watercolor owl. Look at this, isn't this gorgeous? I saw this on the internet and I thought, oh, I wanna paint this, how adorable. So make sure your brush is wet and just kinda check it with a paper towel before you get started. And now let's dip into the black. You don't need a lot of water, I can't emphasize that enough. And I'm gonna go ahead and paint in the pupil. Nice, solid, dark black and take your time, uh, slow down. So to make a gray, I'm gonna outline a little bit and then I'm gonna get the brush wet and then just go over it. So you really just use water and the paint and make it lighter with less paint and that's what makes it gray. Okay, so let's stroke, stroke, stroke. You're stroking on the colors and that's what make it look kind of like the feathers and give it some interesting texture. You can mix on the paper with the strokes and I think that looked kind of nice. So make sure your brush is really super duper clean before you dip in. I am cleaning it but not really showing you that process just to speed this up because it did take me a while to paint this watercolor owl. So I'm mixing some orange into the yellow all right, so now let's go ahead and I'm gonna start off with red. Now, if you don't wanna make this colorful owl and you just choose to make a brown and white or black and white owl, that's fine with me. You can use the same concept. So what I'm doing here is first red, and then I'm gonna add orange, and then I'm gonna add yellow, and then I'm gonna go back to orange, and then I'm gonna add red. So you could add black, brown, and then very light brown, and then brown, and then black if you wanna make it more of a natural looking owl. So really make sure you're, ooh, watch out with that. It's too much water. See that? It's really hard to control that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a paper towel and just blot it. Yep, stroke, stroke, stroke. So yeah, the water is really important with watercolors. You don't need a lot. And um, people tend to use too much. It becomes a big blob and they get frustrated. Um, another important thing with watercolors is a nice brush, and this is called a round brush. It's very, very nice, and it really helps you have a lot more control. So I'm gonna stroke purple along here. I don't know why, I just thought it would look cool. And yeah, I'm gonna mix it in with the red, and I thought that would be nice. So what am I doing here? I'm outlining it, and then adding just wet um, to it. So take the color, outline it, clean the brush and then just add water and mix it. And that's kind of a nice way to get a variation in your values. So I'm adding some yellow here and there and I'm just, ooh, I'm making gray. So how do I make gray again? Um, a tiny bit of black and lots of water. So the less the color, then you water it down and let the paint um, just kind of be thinner on the paper. Great. So stroke, 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 stroke. This is gonna be a lot of variations of the black to gray. And again, it's just more water, less paint, and you can just kind of vary that until you like how it looks um, for its markings on the top of the head. Awesome, a little bit underneath the beak to make it kind of dark and give it a bit of a shadow. Inside there, I forgot about that. What else do I need to do? Hmm. Yeah, just keep going. Um, you can look at the picture for ideas or you can make it up. I always like to look at a picture for ideas. It helps me get inspired. So I'm just adding a few extra markings and a few more colors to um, make it look interesting. So I added some red to kind of give it some depth. Ooh, I forgot about the um, claws. <laughs> so make it dark for a shadow. And then you can also paint the tree if you want to. You don't have to. Um, again, you can make it whatever colors you want. So this is burnt sienna for the tree. You could also mix black and burnt sienna together if you want more of a brown. So thank you so much for tuning in, liking, and subscribing to my YouTube channel. I really hope you enjoy watercolor. Take care.